welcome back to the channel and welcome back to oh yeah we use this palette welcome back to work on me Wednesday so dang this one broke um This is the fake one. Okay, y'all. So, let me... Hold on. Is this... Um... Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. So, I was looking at this palette right here. This is the, um... Morphe 39A and then I saw this one right and oh, I was looking at that one that's all broke up in pieces and I was like wait a minute this one of these are not real <laughs> so um the one in the the one this one right here that I'm handling right now this is the fake one Or dupe, I should say. Dupe, dupe, dupe. All right. So, and you can really tell me. Put these up. So you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, jeez. I'm trying really not to make a mess, but I still don't have full capacity on myself. Um, But you can see the one that I'm moving right now is um the real one because the colors are really really vibrant and um more pigmented okay <laughs> um so we're gonna work out of the which one we gonna work out of? Cause I don't I don't pass judgment on nothing. Um, cause there's some colors in here that I do like, but the look I'm going for today. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna have to use. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to use. Um. Dang, I should have got the Jacqueline Hill. Uh, I sure should have because that yellow is going to be too bright. Um, whew, decisions, decisions. All right, let's do this. When I get to that part, then I decide. All right. So, um... First of all, we're going to try to stop saying, um, throughout this video. Second thing is, I ordered some more stuff from, oh, that's what I was supposed to do today, y'all. I was supposed to do a look out of this here palette. This is the uh, from Juvia's place, and um, I see. There you go. Um, I had to get this. This is this is <laughs> for my mommy, y'all. This is for my mommy because they have favorite colors. The uh, lilac. They have favorite colors right there. So, and I, I love <laughs> purple and green makeup looks. Love it. And to the point that I have to literally say, no, Gina, 
We've done enough green and purple books. But I can never get enough. I just cannot. So, mm, dilemmas. Because I'm, I'm feeling this neutral look. All right, let's do that. I'm going to stick with my plan. I'm going to stick what's down on the inside of me for this look, y'all. And then I will come back and do this look. Maybe this will be... Um, I don't know. Do you guys like when I talk throughout the makeup look? Or do you like when I just be quiet and go to work? <laughs> what do y'all like? Let me know down there in the comment section. Please and thank you. Also, I picked up... Well, I didn't pick it up. I put it in a cart online. And it's these really cute little um, really cute and, and yes I edited that out so you could not hear me say that word <laughs> but these are the my glasses these are the liquid eyeshadows girl Now, y'all know I ain't got no money, so I used a firm to get these. So, oh, and this is the one that I was. This is why I got it, okay? Let me show you this pretty packaging first off. Okay, please take a gander at this, honey. Do you? Oh, and yes, your girl got her nails done. I went Saturday. The boys went with me. And oh, what an experience it was. But look at there. Uh, oh, just all your life in a bottle. A little small bottle at that. <laughs> all right, let's see this next one. Okay. <gasps> oh, yes. Come into me. Come into me. Hold on, getting a phone call. All right, y'all, that was my um, daughter. Oh, um, and I forgot to tell y'all the colors uh, for those. So the green one is, uh, and uh, and Cara, and Cara. So you can see that. And then the first one, which was that, uh, it looks. Pink. Mm -hmm. That's Afrosh Afrosella. Afrosella. Okay. Ooh, I may have to get through this here. This one is Kente. 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 Okay. And this is the color. I think this one is like the most popular one. I'm gonna go through here after I introduce these to you guys and uh, swatch them so you can see what they look like. That way you can decide which one you want to get or if you like me and can't decide and just get all of them. Ooh, she pretty. This is uh, Fula. Fula is her name. You guys see that? Uh, Fula. Old school. It's the only way you can get it to come through. Fula. That's Fula, and she is really, really pretty. Pearlized. Okay, so we're going to go in backwards order so you guys can see. See these beautiful swatches. So she's like a, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Mama Mia. 
Oh, Ooh, do you see what I see? This is her. Okay, so she's pull oh my goodness gracious, she's pulling off some some sky blue. Oh wow. And then if you turn it a certain way, it's giving you like uh, the colors in here. Oh yes. This is uh, Kente. Kente. Oh, Kente is so pretty too. So that is Kente. That's like your um, peach, peachy, something or another. This next one is Ankara, and that's the one that has that um, olive tone to it. Holy macaroni. <laughs> Baby, wait till I show you this. Damn. You don't understand. Joy is springing to my heart. You see that? You see that loveliness. Just all in your face with beautiful. Woo! Auntie, I might, I'm going to have to go back and get that one right there. And then the other one is Afroshella. This one, mm. ooh, baby, 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 <laughs> girl, that's that um ombre. You can see some the pink. You can see some orange. This reminds me of like a sunset. You know how we. Do the sunset look. Mm, that is really pretty. So my favorites is this one. This green one, of course. <laughs> and this one. So yeah, I wanted to introduce that to you guys. And I picked up as well some eye primer from Julia's place. This is in color number two. Boo boo. And it just looks like this. So I need this color when I'm doing neutral colors, right? So enough jibber jabber. I'm gonna go off camera, get these browns together, and then I'll come back. I think what I'm going to do is do one eye off camera and then uh, come back and do the other eye. So, <laughs> stay tuned so you can see the do. Boop, boop. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Okay, 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 okay. So this is what we looking like right here. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do this other side together. Like I literally just slapped that lash on right before I turn the camera back on. All right. Move that to the side. Take me a drink. This is orange juice ma and mango peach juice. Bye. Thank you. Dole. It's so good. All right. First thing I'm going to do is prime this lid. One thing I found out by experimenting is you need the primer 
on top because I was trying to figure out, I'm like, why in the world won't my colors, why aren't they popping and staying put uh, for long periods of for long periods of time. <laughs> Y'all know I paused because I said the dang word. I'm going to get a jar. <laughs> Every time I say that word, I'm going to put a quarter in the jar. Anyway, my, my lids being oily and not putting that primer. And then the other thing is, uh, while I'm... <laughs> The other thing is when I apply these products, I'm gonna use my finger. So I'm just going in with the Juvia's Place. This is this is primer as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in with that too, right? And then I take a brush and I just go in and blend this out. And while I'm on this lid right here, right, I just like kind of pounce the brush onto the lid and not swipe it because I don't want the product that I have underneath it to come off, right? And then I'm just going to go and meet this concealer up here at the top and just marry those two products together now up here you want to just kind of like you're not dragging it you just I guess flicking it is the motion that I'm using here and then um, I pounce in there too just to make sure I get rid of that on You want to take your time with this part because the more precise and the more flawless this part of the look is because you want to look at this as the look too right even though it's blank but it's going to help you with the finished look did that riddle make sense? I hope so. Also, another tip. If you have hooded eyes, like I do, when you put this stuff on your lid, do not look up. Now, I had to learn this the hard way. There was a look that I was practicing on, and I was I wanted to put that look up for the Black History Month, but I didn't I didn't I didn't perfect it, so I didn't put it up. So I'm testing this out on camera <laughs> to see how this comes out. Okay, before I do more colors, before I think I'm the shiz naive. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this dark shade, this dark brown in the palette, this one right here, alright, and that's going to start me on my outer V. So I'm just going to duplicate what I did on the other side. much as I can which is why I don't like to kind of start and stop which is what I kind of did today is I did that eye first and now I'm working on this eye so I got to try to remember <laughs> and y'all know my memory is not all that good okay Alright, now the next color I'm going to go in with, 
Now that first brush was more dense. It looks like this. Again, I don't wanna look up, but here you go. That brush is more dense. This is a blending brush. And I'm gonna go in with this shade here. And that's gone right in. Uh, did I use that? Like, see? This is what I'm talking about. I did use that color, though. I don't remember using this brush, but here we go. This brown is uh, very nice. I like this brown. And we're just going to pounce that right on in there. And just... Like we we doing some blending, but we not doing no blending right now. So I just wanted to put that on there. Now we're gonna go in with the yellow color, and I grabbed it from the Jacqueline Hill palette. This is volume two, so we're going in with that yellow right there, and. This is gonna cover the rest of almost the whole lid. <laughs> yeah, y'all heard. Y'all heard me right. I did say that. The rest of the almost lid. The rest of the lid. But it's not gonna cover the rest of the almost lid. Now, the motion I'm using to blend this is I'm just kind of rocking that brush back and forth like so. When you're working with yellows, it's really hard to work with yellows because companies really do try to put a fork put in the effort to give us a nice yellow. This, uh, Morphe has been the, I want to try Sugar Peel. I know I keep jumping all around, y'all. I apologize. But this is, this is a pretty decent yellow that Morphe provides us with. All right, now some of that brown got lost, so I'm going to go back in there and pick up some of that and put it in there because I want to keep my colors and look right this is the part you have to be patient because It's gonna be a shocker. I'm going in with the white. It's not really white, it's kind of eggshell, but I'm going in with this one right here. This too is from the Jacqueline Hill palette. And you want to build this one up. So just go in a little bit at a time. Just trying to find the current force of your eyes. That's what I, that's that was when I learned that part. That was it right there. That was I was like, oh, okay, I got this. Okay, so there you go with that. And then you want to just go and check, see what's up. Um. Now, I'm gonna take, see, I 
knew it. This, this was. I was supposed to use this brush for the brown. This was my blending brush. Anyway, we just gonna go in and just tickle this area in here just to, you know, get your blend going. And it's a really, really, really soft hand that I'm using here. And this eye is gonna come out better than that other eye. Side over here. I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna put my. Um, line up. Okay. So about playing in the makeup. That's all you gotta do. Play in. <laughs> okay. Now, I was supposed to be in here talking about the um, yeah, I'm gonna clean that up. Work on me Wednesday. Okay. So I'm going to talk about something that's near and dear to me. And that is my celibacy. I had to um, get that back. I've been celibate for nine years. Approximately. And... Alright, um, so yes, celibacy, you know, it's not for everyone. It should be, but it's not. The reason it should be is because we're not supposed to be having relations outside of marriage point blank period I'm just not supposed to uh, it is in the Bible you guys know I'm on my walk with God I'm not gonna say a spiritual journey because that's just to me, oh, see I don't want to step on nobody's toes and I don't want to come off as though I'm being judgmental 
because I am the last person on this earth to be judgmental of anyone. I gotta keep watching the time too, because it's my free time. Um, everyone has to come to that place on your own and I'll, I'll I'll have a scripture and all of that just in case you guys need that to refer to to know what I'm talking about when I say that it, it, it's against what God wants for us It's a lot of stuff going on nowadays. And and a lot of things that's going on, it should be waking us up and it should be <sighs> motivating us to to do right. To do right. All right? Unfortunately, it's, it's, it's going the other way. I refuse the, 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 the state of mind that I'm in right now, the, the dedication that I have to God is so strong right now. It's so strong and I've been fighting to get here for the longest and I refuse to do anything that I know that I know is wrong. That it says in the Bible that it is wrong. That I know even even if you don't believe what the Bible says your instincts, your core of you, can it tells you when you getting ready to do something you ain't got no business doing, you know you ain't got no business doing it, and it convicts you, that's enough for me. So even if you don't believe in the Bible, listen to that part of yourself. You know what I'm saying? The lashes that I'm using today, these are, I love when they put new on here. And it could be new, it could, but I've never seen these before. So I believe this is this is new. So these are by Kiss and it is my lash, but better. MLBB, baby. Very nice, soft lash. And this is what it looks like on. So it's very flattering. It's not overpowering. It's not overpowering. <laughs> Excuse me. So hold on. Just drying it down just a little bit. So real. 
And this band is uh, super small. It's almost invisible, really. And I'll try and show that to you guys before I put it on. See that band? Really nice, really nice. Where is it? See, you want to play with me? Girl. You play too much. God. It done curled up over there to the To the other end. Okay, y'all. I got it. I've done it. All right. So that's good. That's good. That's good. I'm done with that. All right. Now let's get back to the conversation. It's not easy living this celibacy life. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that it is. And that's when you really have to keep praying in those uh, weak moments when you feel them coming. <sighs> Especially when you're... Okay, so take my, my situation for instance. I, I was living in the mountains for what? Nine years? <laughs> that kind of um no so i've been i was celibate well i broke it i did break my celibacy so yeah it's probably hmm, more like i was living in the mountains for nine years Yeah, that's right. Nine years, so I broke my celibacy and restarted it up again. Um, somebody's texting. So, um, so 
So yes, that that's correct. That time frame is correct. And uh, after after I broke it and then re re um, committed myself to it. What I found out is I was doing it I was I was doing celibacy because I was in an area I felt like um, I wouldn't meet anyone so I wasn't in danger if you will of uh, breaking my breaking my um, celibacy right? So it, it when I started out, it was pretty easy to do it because of the atmosphere that I was in, right? And then what I learned is that it's harder when you do it that way than if you make a commitment to, to God first and then to you. Because then, I don't know, what is, is it too much over that way? There we go. All right, I think that might be better. Stop blinking. Hold on, you guys. All right, you guys, I had to fix that lash. Um, it was coming loose on that end over there. Just give myself a couple fans here and there. And then we can um, jump back into this look. So anyway, that's what I found, is that once I committed to God and I grew up in the church like my uncle one of my uncles was a pastor of the church my mom was very 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 into God she could speak tongues like and that's how close I want to get to God like I want to be able to speak in tongues and just ugh, just have him so in, into me, you know, into my thoughts, into my walk, my talk, my everything. And so, once I recommitted myself to God and what His purpose was, it did make uh, being celibate easier. You know what I mean? Do I still have urges? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm not saying that, you know, the moment you, the moment you, you know, make a decision to become celibate, that it's, you know, you're not gonna have those urges. And and mind you, I'm 55. And I I could tell you this much. And y'all know I'm I'm always honest. Um in, in anything that I do, I'm always honest, first and foremost. I love making love. Okay. And that's that's another reason why uh, <laughs> that's another reason why I, I'm staying so strong in this is because once once <laughs> this goes out raunchy I guess I don't know once I start engaging, I want it all the time. 
Like, I want to make love all the time. And, you know, <laughs> if, you, you, if you don't have the right man, if it's not your husband, it's not going to work. At least for me, that's what I know. That's what I know. For me, that's what I know. I need to have my own husband. I need to have him to be, you know, be home uh, all the time outside of working, you know. And and he can, you know, still have his friends. I'm, I'm not going to be that type of wife where, oh, no, you, you, you can't have no more friends. Whatever friends you had, you might as well tell them they got to go. No, that's not me. That's not me. Because I don't want him to do that to me. That's 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 a no-no in my book. Because you still need to be an individual. You know what I mean? You still need to... And, and it's your... It's his choosing of friends. Like, if he has shady friends, maybe that's the, not the man for you. You got to look at it like that, too. Maybe that's not the man for you. You know, unless he is, uh, dang, that, that one is not like this one. But anyway, oh, you done lifted up. That's what's wrong with you. Hold on again, y'all. Okay, so unless he is ministering to these people, uh, maybe he, maybe that's not the the man for you. Because again. You have to let God choose and show you who he has chosen, who he has made, who you were cut, whose rib you were cut from, okay, to know that you guys will be equally yoked. And that's, 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 that's the mistake that I was making is I was picking, I was picking a person instead of letting God help, letting God have him find me. You understand what I'm saying? We got to stay in our lane. When it comes to that, just just one of those things, you know. And even when it comes to choosing your career, or um, you know, even what church to go to, or you know, if I should have this friend in my life, you know, things like that. We have to let God have control, total control over our whole life our whole life you understand i'm not saying that um you're gonna be sin free because that's that's not that's not that's not realistic let's be honest that's not realistic to think that you're going to be able to live your the rest of your life without making any mistakes. That that's not true. I'm gonna try this. This is gonna be the last concealer that I put on. So right now, I'm gonna go in with this. Who is this? Is this Maybelline? Yeah, this is Maybelline. I gotta hurry up, y'all, cause. Grandson can be in here in just a second. Um, it's 2.15. He gets here exactly at 2.27, no later than 2.30. So 
let me um let me get the good foot. It's just a, a slightly darker color. Okay. So you just have to know that Look at my mom. I thought I laid everything out, but obviously I did not. That's okay. You have to just let God. Let God. Period. Point blank. Let God. That way you know it's right. That way you know it's going to be okay. Everything is going to be blessed. And it's a commitment on both parties. It's a commitment. You can't just do it. You can't do it for him and you can't do it for you. Both of y'all have to be committed to God. All the way through. All the way through. Remember I told y'all a lot of times we get through the bad times and then we turn loose God's hand once he get us out the woods. We can't do that. You got to hold on to God's hand through the good times too. That way when those bad times come, you already know what to do because you already doing it. And that's leaning on the Lord. That's leaning on the Lord through it all. That's pretty, right? Nice and simple. Those eyes are lifted. I can't wait to use these colors. So it's a total commitment that you have to make to God, once you make that commitment to God, that's going to put that down on the inside of you. That's going to plant that seed that you need on the inside of you. Once that seed is on the inside of you, it's going to be very hard for you to make the wrong move. Because we're still flesh at the end of the day. We are still flesh people. Just because we say, yes, I accept Christ as my Savior. I accept um, Lord Jesus Christ. And I give my, 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 my life to him. It doesn't mean that you're now a machine. That's what... It, People end up, you know, disappointed, you know, when, when, and they feel like just because you accepted God in your life that, oh, now all these good things getting ready to start happening to me over and over and over and over. I ain't gonna have no more, uh, problems. I ain't gonna have no more, uh, hardships. That's not what that means. Giving your life over to God simply means you making a commitment to him because you want to see him at, and at the end of everything. At the end of time that you can go to heaven. You get to the gate and he say, daughter, son, well done. Come on in. That's why you do it. It doesn't mean that all no more problems can come to you, that you won't have sickness, that you won't feel pain. That's not what that means, that you won't have trials and tribulations that you have to get through. You're still going to have those, but you're going to be protected. 
you're going to be covered. You're going to be surrounded by his grace. That's what that means. That means you got the best friend in the world. The one that can get you out of anything and get you through anything. That means depression doesn't have a hold on you. That means anxiety don't have a hold on you. That means when you face it with the last, your last dollars, that you know in your heart that God got to wait for you. All you got to do is wait. And that when I when people say wait, it don't mean oh yeah, I'm just waiting on the glory of God. No. <laughs> you still got to do stuff. Read your Bible, pray. Keep going to work. Keep being, keep being loyal to him. Not man, but to him. Because man will let you down every single time. That's what that means. Y'all, I'm tr really trying to hurry up because baby boy going to be here in just a second. I got my clock set. Um, so I can be at the door. And I'm, I'm downstairs already. Y'all know the beauty room office is, is down here. We're supposed to be the dining room. So all I gotta do is hobble over there. Which is what I gotta do in a second. I really wanna do a red lip with this. Hope y'all enjoyed this uh, work on me Wednesday this week and last week's and a week before that. <laughs> um, I'm enjoying doing them because not only am I talking to you, but I'm talking to myself as well. All right, it's 2.21. Um, I'm trying to get my highlight, y'all. Where did I go? It's on the side. Ooh, that thing's... All right, we're using the one. This is right here. I'm just going to put it right here. That's really nice. And I ain't use no foundation for this look. All right, y'all. I'll be right back because I got to go get that baby boy in. Hold on. All right, y'all. I'm back. Um, got grandson set up with his, um, I, I call it Nana homework. So I went on Amazon and got him some books, uh, subtractions, got subtraction addition, two di double digits, triple digits, and quad digit math problems. So he's in the second grade. 
just want to make sure you know, that he passes to the next grade. That's my little, little spiel <laughs> for, you know, for making sure, you know, we make it into glory. I want to be in that number. See my mommy, my uncle, my aunt. Now let's decide what we gonna do with, um, oh, you know I gotta do some tear duct too. What we gonna do for the lips, cause I don't know. I really feel like I wanna do the red. time I have makeup on is when I do a video. Or if I'm, you know, practicing a look. Other than that, I'm plain face Gina. change my mind. This is 
know if I got it up the right way, you guys. There you go. That's the color up. So. And it's a really nice red. It's got um, the blue undertones in there. So it's not your bright, bright red. I didn't want that. Oh, 
like that, y'all. The other one would have been okay too if I want to put that liner on. It's so dark. Actually, should have just left it off. But that's really nice. I like that. This is um, volume one. That's this one. So I went in with that, that um, cranberry-ish color. So pretty. Okay, girl. There you go. Now, we're going to go and snap some earrings on, and I'll come back and give you a little something, something on the modelization. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 